By default, when you run a sequence in SoundCheck, previously acquired sequence data in the memory list is overwritten and will be lost unless you configure the sequence to autosave your data. Today, I'll demonstrate how to use memory list functions to safeguard your sequence data, ensuring it remains in the memory list until you choose to manually save it, delete it, or close your SoundCheck session. After running a sequence, I want to preserve the fundamental curve so it's not overwritten during the next sequence run. To do this, I highlight the fundamental curve, right-click, go down to Protect Data in the drop-down menu, and select Protect. The protected version of the fundamental curve now appears down here. This check mark shows it's no longer sequence data, and the dash P indicates it is protected. Now we can remove this piece of protected data from the memory list, and I'll show you how to auto-protect data. In this case, I want to auto-protect the fundamental and the THD curve so that every time I run the sequence, it's automatically protected. Once again, I'm going to hover over the Protect Data menu and select Auto-Protect. The fundamental and THD icons change from rounded shapes to diamonds to indicate the data is auto-protected. Now, every time I run the sequence, the fundamental curve and the THD curve are auto-protected and remain in the memory list. I've run the sequence four times, and you can see four auto-protected instances of the fundamental and THD curves. Now, if we get rid of these auto-protected curves and highlight the fundamental and THD curves, I can undo the auto-protection. As you can see, they revert to their traditional circle icons, and upon rerunning the sequence again, all of our data will populate. Lastly, I'll demonstrate how to protect data by renaming it including renaming multiple curves simultaneously. I'm going to select Fundamental, THD, and then choose the Rename option. This prompts the Rename dialog where I can designate them as Fundamental123 and THD123. Upon renaming these curves, they also appear in the memory list as protected items. So that's three methods we can use to retain data in the memory list, auto-protect, protect, and rename. Try it out and give us a shout if you have any questions.